Sarah, about what we uh, discussed last night. Have you come to a decision? You mean whether I want to move into your parents' place and live under the same roof as them? Yes. I'd be happy if you could decide as soon as possible. You don't mind living with my parents, do you? Do you really want me to? You meant everything that you said yesterday, right? What do you mean by that? You expect me to look after our children and also your parents at the same time, right? Yes, that's what I'm asking. I'll be living in this house on my own once you and the kids move out, so it won't be easy for me either. I'll work twice as hard so that when we get to see each other again, we can spend a lot of quality time together. So you're not even going to ask me how I feel about this? Well, you're a housewife and you don't have a job. I can't go take care of my parents because of work. You're the only one that I can ask. My parents would really appreciate it if you went and helped them. I didn't know that you felt that way. It won't be easy living in a house that's not mine. Why is that? All you do is cook and clean. Does it matter where you live? Our son is in middle school and he's getting ready to take his high school entrance exams. It's not going to be easy for him to change schools now. And your parents live in the countryside. I don't think the level of education is the same there. Is studying the most important thing in life? There's a lot you can learn by living in the countryside. And you're telling me this now, when Aaron is getting ready for his exams? You're the one that wanted Aaron to go to a private high school. You said you weren't happy with the education that you got, and so you wanted better for your kids. Isn't that why we put them in cram school from when they were in elementary school? That's why we push our kids to do well in school, right? It's the same for Rhea. Why do you want to suddenly change the way we bring up our children? I didn't mean it like that. I feel like you're always telling the kids to study more. It also feels like you're indirectly saying that I'm not good enough because I didn't go to a good university. But when I think about it, education isn't everything. I mean, I have a great job. I live a happy life. Why are you telling me this now? Don't mess with the future of your children just because you had a change in heart. I also don't think that studying is the most important thing in life, but Rhea enjoys it. She studies without being told to do so. Aaron's also been studying really hard to get into the high school of his choice. You can't take that away from them. Maybe they're only studying hard to please you. They may not enjoy studying as much as you think they do. What do you mean by that? They may feel the pressure to succeed from their overbearing mother. How dare you say that to me? Do you know how selfish you're being right now? You're using work as an excuse not to take care of your parents. You're making me take on all the burden. I'm being selfish here? I'm just thinking about what's best for my parents. If anything, you're the selfish one. I'm selfish. I can't believe the words coming out of your mouth. Well, you're the one that's saying that you don't want to move to the countryside. I think you're being selfish. You're making this about the kids, but it's not. You just don't want to take care of my parents. I'm not making excuses. I'm, I'm just saying that it'll be really hard for the kids and I to live in the countryside where there's practically nothing but rice fields. They only have one high school in town. It's so different to our life here. And anyone can get into that school. Don't you think that Aaron would want to go to a school that is more challenging? We still have a year before Aaron starts high school. I'm sure that he can get used to the idea of going to a school in the countryside if we give him some time. We already spoke to Aaron and he tells me that he wants to stay here and go to the high school that he's been studying for. Can't Aaron live with you? I'll take Rhea with me. I can't. Why not? 
I can't work and also take care of my son at the same time. Aaron's grown up. He can take care of himself. What's the problem here? You're the housewife. It's your responsibility to live with the kids. I bring in the money and you take care of the house. That's how it works. I see. I get it now. You understand now, right? I understand now that you have no intention of trying to see things from my perspective. Oh, why do you have to say it like that? So, you agreed to move in with my parents, right? Think about my poor parents. My mom isn't well, but she still needs to take care of my dad on her own. It's too much for her. I understand that things are very hard for your mother. It's not easy living with someone that has dementia. That's right. You get it then. Have we come to a mutual decision? How come you won't move with us? Well, it's easier for me to commute to work from this house. But I'll make sure to send you all the money that you need. Isn't that good enough for you? It's not just about the money, you know. For you, work is important, but for our kids, their life here is just as important. Why is it so easy for you to ask the kids to give up their dreams while you're so hesitant to change your life for your family? Of course I think about my children's happiness too. But I need you to take care of my parents. That's what's important right now. Why can't your brother's family help out? They live closer to your parents than we do. And your sister is only a 30 minute drive from your parents' place. I'm sure that she can help too. We live the furthest. We need to take a train and an airplane to get to your parents' place. Why were we chosen to live with your parents? It just doesn't make any sense to me. It's because everybody besides you has a job. You have the most time on your hands. Why does everyone seem to think that a housewife does nothing all day long? Raising two kids on my own isn't an easy thing to do. How many times do I have to tell you this? I'm busy with work. I don't have time to look after the kids. I don't know how to raise children. And Rhea is still in elementary school. She's young, so she needs a mother by her side. Could you please start getting ready to move in with my parents? This conversation is going nowhere. So you're not even going to try and understand how I feel about this. Seems like I'm the only one that actually cares about our kids. Well, you aren't thinking about my parents. So, doesn't that make you selfish? Your parents are important, but what about us? We're your family too. I'm really turned off by you right now. But I'm tired of arguing, so... So you agree to move then? Well, I have no choice, it seems. I'll start packing. This is for the best. There's one thing that I want to ask you. Is there a reason why you're so keen on living by yourself? There's no reason. Just work. Of course I want to move with you, but my parents' place is too far from my workplace. I can't just move. I have a job. I can't quit my job because I have responsibilities. I'm the breadwinner of this family. I see. So there's no other reason then? You're not trying to get rid of us? Of course not! I just don't understand why it would be a problem for you to have Aaron live with you. Aaron can take care of himself so he wouldn't be a burden to you. I just feel that the children will be happier with you. I, I have no experience taking care of them. How do you plan on living by yourself if you can't take care of your own children? Well, I'm an adult, so I can take care of myself. That won't be a problem. I don't have to worry about cooking if it's just me. Aaron's not a picky eater. Can't he just eat the same thing as you? He's still a child, and I'm not that confident that I'll be able to feed him anything healthy. I can see that you really want all three of us to move out. It's clear to me now. I never said that I wanted you guys to move out. It's for my parents. 
It's good to have their grandchildren around. Don't make me look like the bad guy here. I guess this is working out really well for you. What do you mean by that? You're using your parents as an excuse to kick us out of the house. You get to spend your time how you want and you don't even need to take care of your parents. But you get to feel good about what you're doing because you're sending me to take care of them instead. As long as you can send me money to live off, you can do whatever you want with the remaining money. Oh, can you stop being so negative about everything? We've come to a decision, haven't we? We have. I'm ready to go. I've finished packing. Please send me the child support payments in one lump sum this week. I'll ask you to send me anything else that I need later on. I'm leaving the house now. I want the kids to the school? Aren't you gonna wait until I come home tonight? Also, what about all the relocation procedures? Actually, I'm not taking the kids out of their school, so there's no need for me to do anything about that. What do you mean? You're leaving the kids with me? I'm taking them with me. We're moving out and going to my parents' place. Huh? What's going on here? I'm sick and tired of being married to a selfish man like you. I'm leaving you. You should think more about your family and parents and not always about what works best for you. Goodbye. Sarah's parents lived about 30 minutes away from where Sarah and Ryan lived, so it was easy for her to move out and take the kids with her to their grandparents' place. Ryan didn't seem too concerned that his wife had left him, but when Sarah's father heard about what had happened between the two of them, he visited Ryan without telling Sarah. When he arrived at Ryan's place, he saw that Ryan was living with his lover. In the end, Sarah divorced Ryan and they, are, and they are talking with their lawyers about the amount of alimony that should be paid to Sarah. It seems that Ryan didn't care about his parents or his family after all. Today's dinner party was a lot of fun. It was a pretty high-level restaurant and the food was delicious. You can invite me again, you know. Um, about that. Could you pay for the extra food? Huh? Why? At today's dinner party, only you guys ordered a lot of extra things, right? Fancy food and champagne. The additional order cost about $4,000. So what? Today was your wedding announcement party. And since you guys aren't having a wedding, you invited us because you wanted to have a nice dinner with your family. That's why we came, and how come we have to pay for it? That's true, but... But we didn't think there would be so many additional orders. We also didn't expect it to cost $4,000. The course meal wasn't enough for us, so we ordered the food and the champagne. If we ordered the same amount of food at our favorite restaurant, it would only be about $200. That's what happens when you get arrogant and book expensive restaurants. Are you saying that it's our fault for arranging the restaurant? That's right. We only came to celebrate you guys. Shame on you for charging us money. Can you at least pay part of the cost? We'll pay for 80% of it. We'd like you to pay at least 20% of the cost. Don't be silly. You said you prepared a nice place for us to eat. And that's why we even had to pay for the hair and makeup. And you're asking us to pay extra? That's insane. We're not paying anything. Oh no. From now on, you should avoid having dinner parties at expensive restaurants. Ah, that's right. So next time, why don't we have a home party instead of a restaurant? If we bring in our own food, we can save money. A home party. We talked about it at the dinner party today, but... I heard you guys live in a pretty nice apartment. It has a nice view and a spacious room, right? 
The parents seem to like it too after they visited your place. We like to go visit sometime too. Well, if that's the case, I'll check with Jack first. I can't decide on my own. We can always arrange our schedules. Let me know when you two decide on a convenient date. I'll bring a delicious meal and drinks. I just dropped my parents off at their house. They both had a good time at the dinner party today. Thanks for driving them home. I'm glad they had a good time. I just got a call from Harper too. She said they had a good time too. Well, I'm sure they had a great time after ordering all that food and drinks. Did they say anything about paying for the extra food? They have no intention of paying for it. I asked for at least part of it. They said they came because they were invited and that it was insane to charge them money. Seriously? So that extra $4,000 is all ours to pay? Sorry, my sister is so selfish. I'll pay for the whole extra amount out of my savings. No, it's a dinner party we both invited. I'll pay half too. More importantly, Harper wants to come over to our place next time. She asked if we could have a home party at our place. What? A home party at our house? We talked about our apartment at the dinner party today, right? So she said she'd like to come visit us once. Oh, you're talking about the other day when mom and dad came to visit, right? They really liked the apartment. They were praising the place the whole time we were eating. That's why Harper's so interested in this place too. She wants to have a party with drinks and food. What do you say? When should we invite them? No, we should never let my sister in the house. Just ignore the home party and all the talk. If they say anything, tell them I'm against it. What? We can't invite them to the house? We invited your parents to our house. I don't know what they'll steal if they come over. That's why you should never let them in. Once you let them in, you'll never get anything important back. What? What does that mean? I'm sure you're aware of it, Ava. My sister and her husband are selfish, self-centered, and troublesome. They're rather brazen or stingy. If you invite them over, they'll take things from you without a second thought. Really? They used to come over when I lived alone. Just because she was shopping nearby. She and her husband would stop by my house. But every time they left, my stuff was missing from my house. So, it's not like it's a mistake or something? Of course I checked the house a lot. First it was toilet paper, plastic wrap, paper plates. Then it got worse and worse, and eventually they took my favorite clothes too. What? The live t-shirt I treasured so much. I saw her husband wearing it later on. Of course I immediately questioned them. But they ran away, saying they were just borrowing it and would return it soon. Of course they never return it to me again. That's just too much. No matter if they're family or not, it's the same as stealing. That's why I don't want them in my house. This house is not only mine, it's yours too. I'm used to having my things stolen. But I can't stand it if someone takes something that belongs to my wife. Right. I definitely don't like that either. Then let's not have a home party. I feel sorry, but let's not let Harper and her husband in the house. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. I'm sorry my family's been such a pain in the ass. If she says something, you call me right away, okay? I'll handle my sister. Ava, why aren't you at home when I came all the way here? I wonder if you're out somewhere. What? Harper? I brought some beer, so I'll put it in the fridge. Let's all drink together later. The fridge? Wait, wait a minute. Don't tell me you're in our apartment now. Hey, hey, hey. You didn't call us at all, so we came here on our own. 
I knew my mom had a duplicate key to this room. I secretly borrowed it from my parents' house. What? That's trespassing. What are you talking about? We're a family, so it's perfectly okay to do this. Anyways, where are you? It's a holiday. Let's have a drink together. We're on our honeymoon. Didn't I tell you that we're going to Europe starting today? What? Really? I feel like you told me, but I forgot. But I was so careless to come visit you at such a time. You forgot. It seems as if you purposely came on that day. What? It's really just a coincidence. But it's so sad that I came all the way here to visit you and you're on your honeymoon. It would be sad to leave like this. We'll stay in this house until you get back, okay? What? It's got a great view just like you said. It's a dream come true to live in such a beautiful apartment. Ah, I might as just well take it. Why don't you just give this apartment to us? There's no way we can do that. Don't be silly. Get out of our house. You can't stay in someone's room without permission. We are a family. Oh, there's some really nice meat in the fridge. You guys must have a pretty good life. Please don't look in the fridge without permission. What's over here? Expensive wine and fancy cheese. I'm going to open it with my husband right now. I'll give you guys some of the special beer I bought. Please don't do that. Please don't eat things from other people's house without permission. Oh, what's this? Super cute high ground accessories. This is a limited edition item that sold out quickly. Hey, where are you hunting next? Don't walk around in people's room without permission. I heard this sells for a pretty good price online. Oh no, I immediately put it on the market and it was already sold. And it's three times the list price. Are you kidding me? You sold off someone's stuff without permission? It's okay, it's okay. I'll have half of the profit to you. I'll take the other half as my commission. That's enough. It's insane to do whatever you want in someone's house. If you don't leave, I'll call the police. What? Didn't you hear what I said earlier? We like this house so much we'll stay here from now on. So this is no longer your house. What? You don't have a home to go back to. You should look for a new house while you're on your honeymoon. We have no intention of going back. What? We actually moved out of that apartment right before our trip. So we have no intention of going back there. Moved? Then whose house is this now? We could enter normally with the duplicate key that my parents had. Normally, when the previous owner leaves, the locker changed. We told them that the next occupant is a relative of ours, so there is no need to change the locks. Because we gave that apartment to my parents-in-law. What? Actually, they talked to us about it. They really liked our apartment. And that they would like to get rid of their house and move out at some point. Get rid of their house? Their house is quite old, and they were thinking of rebuilding it. But that's when they came to visit our apartment. It seems like they really liked the apartment more than they had imagined. But when it came time to find the apartment of their dreams, they had a lot of trouble. But moving to the same apartment as us was not an option for them since we are newlyweds. They were worried that we could be too sensitive as a newlywed couple. So we made a proposal to them. To give them our room. Really? Recently, you guys have been persistent also. So we thought it would be a good idea to move out. And the parents were very happy. In return, they said they would help us with the payment for the moving, with the money they got from the sale of their house. So we quickly found a new apartment and moved in. So, wait a minute. This house is not yours, but the parents' house? Yes, it's a retirement home where they can spend their time in comfort. The delicious meats, wine, and cheese that you just tried? They're all from your parents' own kitchen. Even the high run accessories are your mother's. What? No way! What should I do? I can't believe all this was from my parents! Looks like they were just walking around the neighborhood. I called them right away and they said they'd be home soon. They should be arriving at their room any time now. Oh no, 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 no! They're knocking the door like crazy! They're definitely going to be really upset about this! 
Well, we're on our honeymoon, so if you'll excuse us now, make sure you apologize to them. Help, Ava! Can you keep us at your house for a while? What? What's wrong? They kicked us out of the apartment. After that, I apologized desperately, but both of them were furious. They told us never to show our face again. But we were going to live in this apartment. We were actually moving out of our old apartment. Wow, so it was a planned break-in. We're surviving in a motel for now, but we've reached our limit. To tell you the truth, I was fired from my job. But we can't live on my husband's salary and we don't have any savings. It's hard to rent a room in this situation. It costs a lot of money to move and pay the deposit and stuff, right? So, until we can save up some money, can you keep us in the house? I want you to tell me where you moved to. You've already returned from your honeymoon, right? Let us stay in your new house. I'm sorry, I can't do that. My husband has told me about your past wrongdoings. In fact, you almost stole our house in an attempt. We can't keep people like that in our house. But we are a family. And even though I'm your in-law, I'm your older sister. I'm in a higher position than you, so shut up and help us. Otherwise, I won't be nice to you in the future. I don't need you to be nice to me. And if you're going to use your position like that, I'll do the same. Even though I'm your sister-in-law, I'm your husband's boss. I'm in a better position than you. What? You're my husband's boss? If you keep being selfish, I won't be nice to you. I'm the boss and your husband is my direct subordinate. What? Wait, what do you mean? We talked about it at the dinner party in case you're wondering. But you guys were both pretty drunk on champagne. I guess you didn't hear that I actually work at the same place as your husband. You work at the same place as my husband? What's that? I've never heard of that before. It's a fairly large company, so I only found out after we got married. I had heard that we were in the same business, but I had no idea that we worked for the same company. I was told that I would be transferred to your husband's department once the marriage was settled, and I've been asked to be the director of the department. Director? Why are you in a higher position than my husband? I mean, he's older than you. But I have a better performance than him. What? Our company is based on performance. It doesn't matter how old you are or how long you've been with the company. It's a system where those who can do better get promoted faster and faster. That sounds like my husband is not good at his job. That's exactly right. And I never favor my family. In fact, I would rather be hard on them. I don't want people to think I'm in the same league as that person who always slack off at work. What? I've heard a lot about him from the previous director. I heard that he's unmotivated to work, that he slacks off, and that his work attitude is pretty bad. No wonder he's getting passed over for a promotion by a young girl like me. Huh? Don't you get all cocky with me. When my husband gets serious, he'll overtake you in no time. That's amazing. But before he gets serious, he might be fired first. What? I heard rumors that he is suspected of stealing equipment. I'm hearing that a punishment will be issued soon from the top. If you're fired and your husband is also fired, I don't think he'll be able to live a life in a motel any longer. What did you say? Just so you know, just because you're having a hard time making ends meet doesn't mean you can go into someone's house. If you do, you'll be in serious trouble with the police. Now if you'll excuse me. Shortly thereafter, Harper's husband was fired. It seems that the evidence that he had been bringing home company equipment had come to light. Her husband said, My wife asked me to bring toilet papers for home. 
He desperately appealed to upper management that he couldn't disobey his wife. But because of his daily work attitude, he was kicked out of the office as soon as possible. The two of them then panicked and cried to his parents. But they said, I can't believe you guys are finally causing trouble not only to the family but also to the society. We can no longer be a family with you. And they cut ties with them. They asked their friends and acquaintances to stay with them, but no one would let them stay. I heard that they are now working part-time at a motel. I just hope they won't cause problem there too.